Rock climbing. People climb mountains for many different reasons. Some do it to get exercise, others do it to spend some time in nature and to get a break from their everyday life. And yet, another people climb mountains as a personal challenge. They want to do it something that seems nearly impossible at first. How is done? <clears throat> Traditional climbing is a popular form of modern climbing. In traditional climbing, or trad climbing for short, the climber fattens one end of a rope to herself and the other end to a partner. Then she starts to climb. Along the way, she stops to insert pieces of protection, nuts, slings, hems into the mountain face. She threads her rope through carabiners attached to these pieces of protection. If the climber falls, the rope catches the last carabiner. She thread it through. The carabiner acts as a pulley, counterbalancing her weight with the with the weight of a partner. The weight of the partner, along with the friction of the rope against the carabiner, is enough to stop her fall. She can then regain her grip on the face and res- resume, resume climbing. It is important to remember that the climber will fall until the rope catches her highest carabiner. This means the length of her fall will be the distance between her current collection and the cl- location of her highest carabiner, plus an d- additional 10 to 20 feet needed for the rope to stretch. Note the climber ropes must be highly elastic as to reduce the shock transferred to the climber during a fall. So if the climber climbs 20 feet above the position of her highest piece of protection, then a fall will be at least 30 feet, a significant distance even for experienced climbers. For this reason, it is always wise to attach protection pre- periodically. This ensures that too much distance is made between her current positions and the position of a last point protection. After all, if the climber climbs high above her highest piece of protection, her fall will be long and likely more dangerous. Jesse is climbing a mountain using a traditional method. He has climbed 20 vertical feet since he last inserted a piece of protection. He falls. The combined weight of him and his partner is too much for the protection to support and he breaks loose from the face. Given that the next highest piece of protection is 15 feet below the protection that breaks loose, what is the minimum total distance? I mean, 35 plus like... 10 would be um the minimum okay the minimum means 10 so it's like 35 um plus 10 is 45 right okay based on its use in pair of three can be understood the word periodically belongs to which of the word for word groups periodically means i think First, I think it must be B, but I'm not really sure about that. Occasionally. Mm-hmm. What are the f- following statements that summarizes the conclusion of this passage? Always at risk. The clamor is always at risk. This is true from the very beginning. In actual actuality, the very beginning can often be the most risky part of the claim. That's because the clamor has not yet had a chance to insert any protection into the face. If the clamor falls, there is nothing, no protection in place, no carabiner to act as bully, and no way for her partner to counterbalance her weight. 
But there's more. Even after the climber inserts a first piece of protection and threads a rope to the climb, through the carabiner, her safety is not guaranteed. After all, her protection is only as good as she makes it. If the fails to insert it into the face well enough, of, or if the face should break loose when it is inserted, it will not catch the rope, and her partner will be powerless to stop stop her fall. Always the risk. Going bananas. I do remember I read this one because I do explain to you and clarifying that this idiom means go bananas means like you go berserk, you become really angry all of a sudden to someone. So the banana is a fruit produced in tropical climates by a giant herbaceous flowering plant commonly known by the same name. It is one of the most widely consumed foods in the world.